Welcome back pranksters and as the title of this video says, I will be showing you guys 20 creative ways to sneak your favorite snacks and candy into class using school supplies without getting caught. But before we get started, I want to announce the winner of my last giveaway. Congratulations to Jake Lord. Just like the previous winner, Mystic One, you will be getting a box full of snacks that you can easily sneak into class. So guess what guys, I have another giveaway for this video and since we are also dealing with snacks and candy, I will be giving away another box of snacks. And to enter, all you have to do is leave a like and a cool comment on this video that stands out. I will choose a random winner, so if you wish to participate and have a chance to win a box full of snacks, just leave a like and a comment on this video. Alright then, let's get started with these hacks. If you have a non-see-through sports bottle, put it to use in two different ways. It'll act as a secret compartment. Here's how. With a blade, begin to cut around the bottom of the bottle till you are able to pull out a round flap like this. But please do not cut it off though. For this demonstration, I will be putting some Oreos inside the bottle. As far as the top, I'm gonna cover it with a piece of plastic wrap. You can use your hand to push it in as much as possible because we are gonna pour some soda inside and if you guys know me, you know I'm a Pepsi fan so that's what I'll be using. You'd be surprised actually at the amount of soda that you guys can pour inside. Once you have enough of your favorite beverage in there, simply close it up. Notice that when you do that, you'll have excess plastic sticking out. You can easily get rid of it by cutting it off with a blade and that's it. Next time you're in class and you're starving, resort to your sports bottle. You'll have your Oreos on the bottom and while your teacher might think that you're just sipping on water, you're actually enjoying your Pepsi or pretty much anything that you guys put in there. Here's a great way to use a school supply box to enjoy your favorite cereal in the classroom just in case you guys skip breakfast. Make sure the supplies box is empty and clean. Take your cereal and pour it inside the box. Of course, every good cereal needs milk, so add some onto it. As for the spoon, pack a plastic one and simply place the cap of a pen on it just to make it seem like it's a writing utensil on your hand. But in reality, it'll be you using your spoon to eat your cereal in the classroom. So if you're ever in a rush while you're in school, just pack a bottle of milk, a spoon, and some cereal inside a supplies box. Take a look at this large box of crayons that I have right here. Inside, there are four smaller boxes of crayons. Basically, how we're gonna use this box is very simple. Just remove a couple of the boxes from one side. In this example, I'll be pulling out the boxes from the left side. I'll be making room for a juice box. For example, this one. Simply put it inside. Now, if there's a gap between the smaller crayon boxes and the juice box, you can just fix that by adding more crayons inside. As far as the flap, just split it in half. Take your straw and insert it into the juice box. Tuck the straw underneath the flap and close it all up. When you want to take a sip from your juice box, simply open the side that has the juice box. If you sense your teacher is coming, just close it up and open the side that shows the crayons. Up next, you're gonna need one of these plastic pencil holders that you guys can get at Walmart for about 50 cents. There's two pieces to this, so easily take it apart. We are gonna tamper with the outside cover by making a straight cut on the bottom. In this example, I cut real close to one of its corners. So now, see how flexible it is? You can easily place it back and have faster access to the inside by opening it up from the side. Now let's grab a bunch of crayons and divide them into two sections, the tops and the bottoms. Use clear tape to keep both sections of crayons together, just like you see right here. Once you have both sections ready, simply place them on opposite ends of the pencil holder and guess what? In between, that's where we're gonna put the snacks that we're gonna be sneaking into class. For example here, I have these yummy pastries that fit perfectly in the middle. Place the cover back and we're done guys. At first, it looks like a regular pencil holder or in this case, a crayon holder. If you slide it open in either direction just a bit, you can clearly see that it's just crayons that are in there. But of course, we know that in the middle we have our snacks and you guys can get creative and put all kinds of snacks in there and you will not get caught. If you have a box of jumbo crayons like this, put it to use just like I'm about to show you. For this, you will need a container of mints, such as an icebreaker's container. Let's empty out the box of crayons as we need the box to be empty. What I like about this crayon box is that it's the same thickness as the icebreaker's container. 
flip over the box and trace an outline of the container. Try to be as precise as possible as we are gonna have to cut it out. Once you've done that, you can easily insert the icebreaker's container. It becomes pretty leveled and flat with the box of crayons. As much as I like mints, they don't make for really good snacks. So what I did is I dumped out all the mints and replaced them with something I did enjoy, which is M&Ms. Basically that's it guys. Just flip over the box once more and keep it handy on your desk. You might want to put a few crayons inside just to make it seem casual. If you get a craving for some M&Ms, simply lift up the box just a little and open the icebreaker's container. Your M&Ms will be easily accessible. Look at this hole puncher. It's very common in all classrooms as it is a school supply after all. Now there's nothing special about this particular one. It looks and works just like any hole puncher except for the fact that the bottom rubber cover can easily come off. Now this is meant to keep you mess free as it collects all the pieces of paper the hole puncher produces. Of course we're gonna be using this little compartment to store some of our favorite snacks such as pretzel sticks. Just put them on the rubber cover and place the hole puncher over it. It should snap in together. From time to time during class you guys can reach in and grab some pretzel sticks or any snack you guys decide to put in there. For example here, I loaded it up with some M&M's minis. You can't go wrong with this method. If you have a book that you just don't like and don't mind destroying it, then this next hack is for you. For this example, I will attempt to sneak some Lunchables into class with this book. You'll need some patience though and you'll see why in a second. But first, begin to trace an outline of the Lunchables on the first page of the book. It should look a little something like this. And here's where the patience comes into play as you are gonna cut out a bunch of these pages until you have a large enough compartment to put your Lunchables in. I used both some scissors and a blade to remove the pages necessary for this hack. So here's the deal, from 5 out of the 6 sides of the book, it'll look normal except for this side. See it's got a large enough opening for our Lunchables. So let's peel the Lunchables open and keep it handy inside the book. Close it up and that's it. You guys can easily have access to your Lunchables by pulling them out. It's like a little drawer inside the book. Slide it back in with ease and you will not get caught red handed. Everybody gets sick from time to time while at school, so it's understandable that you'll have a box of tissue paper, right? Well, here's how you guys can use one of these to your benefit. Simply undo the flaps to open up the box. Pull out a good portion of the tissue paper. I would say about 90% of it. Just leave a thin layer behind. All I'm gonna do now is put a cup of miniature chocolate chip cookies inside. Fits in perfectly. Lastly, just close it up and I'll be using a piece of tape to hold the flaps shut. If you scoot the tissue paper over, you'll be able to pull out as many cookies as you can. Just make sure that you always position your snacks in the right direction. I brought out this large pencil box for this next hack. Basically what we're gonna do is create a false bottom for it. Let's draw an outline of this pencil box on a piece of poster paper. With a pair of scissors, cut it out, but notice that I left a tab on it. This will become very helpful. As for my snacks, I will cut out the top of this box of M&Ms and place it on the center like so. To its left, I'm gonna put a couple of pop tarts and the right side is reserved for my hot Cheetos extra. Finally, we can place our false bottom over our snacks to hide them. Just make sure that the tab sticks out. Some tape on the back will come in handy to keep the false bottom in place. Lastly, place some school supplies inside to make this as legit as possible. While in class, you guys can easily pull back the tab and it will reveal your snacks underneath. There's a lot of snacks so you guys can actually share with your friends. The type of snacks that I just don't like to share are my chocolate bars and here I have a Milky Way which I will sneak into class using a bunch of pencils like the ones you see right here. These are very colorful pencils which I will line up and with a piece of clear tape I will keep them together. I recommend that you guys use some clear packaging tape but only on one side. All I do now is open up the wrapper so I can have easy access to my Milky Way. I'll place it on the center of the stack of pencils and all I do now is wrap the chocolate bar with the pencils like so. It should completely cover it and a rubber band will hold everything in place. You guys can put this anywhere but the best place is actually a pencil case. Just remember where you have a Milky Way next time you guys get hungry. Here's another box of M&Ms and this one is actually full so to pull off this next hack I will have to empty it out completely which is fairly easy. 
of course keep those M&Ms handy as they will be going back in. As for the box we are gonna undo every single flap till it becomes flat just like this and yes guys we will have to reassemble the box but this time it'll be inside out. Strips of clear tape should hold everything in place. Now it's time to put the M&Ms back inside the box. We'll close up the flaps and that's it. You guys can try to pass this off as a school supply. For example here I'm writing the word pencils on it. So if a teacher sees it, he or she will think that it's just a pencil box. But in reality it's a small box of M&Ms. I love using crayon boxes to sneak food into class. It's always easy to do. For example here I have a crayon box which inside contains two smaller boxes of crayons. I'm gonna remove one to make room for my Takis, which I will place inside. One of the flaps I will cut out and use it to cover up the opening from this larger tab on the back. This will help us hide the Takis if we fold it down. So you guys can only see half of the crayons, which is good because the other half contains our Takis. Just close it up and while you're in class, you'll know that you'll have backup for when you start craving food. Just open up the box of crayons. One thing that most people forget that they have while in class is money, or in this case, coins. Here I have a roll of pennies and yes, we are allowed to have money in the classroom guys. So knowing that, get yourself an empty roll of coins and fill it up with some candy. And there is no better example for this than sweet tarts. Start by covering up some pennies with some clear tape. That way you guys know your candy will not touch the coins directly. Insert one penny in first and now you guys can fill it up with as much sweet tarts as you can fit inside. As you guys can see it's a piece of cake to do. Lastly just cover up the sweet tarts with another penny and you're done. Keep your roll of fake coins handy and when you guys get a sweet tooth you know where to resort to. If Rice Krispie Treats happens to be your favorite snack, well here's how to sneak some into the classroom. For that you guys will need a foam dry board eraser like this one. Of course these are common in class. This particular eraser has two layers, the large foam part and the surface that is used for wiping. So let's peel them apart but not completely. We just need to get enough space in between them to begin carving out the foam. We need enough room in there for our Rice Krispie Treats. This is what it should look like. Here I have a large size of Rice Krispie Treats, so I'm gonna cut it to size to be able to tuck it inside the eraser. Before it goes in though, try to crush it with your hand to compress it to an even smaller size. Now it'll fit in perfectly. See, all you have to do now is peel back the cover to get to your Rice Krispie Treats. No one will know it's there but you. Donuts have always been one of my favorites, but they're just too big to take into class, right? Well, no, it's totally doable, guys, and here's how to pull it off. For that, you will need a large CD case like this one. This particular one contains 50 blank CDs, but the best part is that it's non-see-through, meaning that you guys can't see inside because it's got too many labels covering it. So that is perfect. Let's remove all the CDs from inside. What's left is the base, which it seems like it was made for this hack as we can easily insert our donuts inside. Two donuts is pretty much all I need. Just screw on the top and you're done. No one would be able to tell that you have donuts in there instead of CDs. This is the best way to enjoy donuts in the classroom. Next up, we are gonna sneak this entire bag of hot Cheetos into class. And just like a previous hack that I showed you in this video with M&Ms, we are gonna empty out this bag. Make sure that you get all the chips out as we are gonna be turning this bag inside out. And this is what it should look like at this point. As you can see, the inside has no logos, no color. It's just a plain aluminum color, which is great for this. I'm gonna apply two small binder clips on the end and you guys will see why in a bit. Let's put the chips back inside the bag. Roll it up and keep it closed with another small binder clip. On the bag I'm gonna write the word supplies so that my teacher knows that I have school supplies inside the bag and they will not question the bag. The small clips will help keep the chips hidden inside a binder like so. To get to your chips simply undo the clip and unroll the bag. Simple as that. Here's another way that you guys can use a sports bottle to your benefit. Take your favorite miniature snack such as mini Oreos and add some inside a sandwich bag. Twist it and open the sports bottle. Insert it inside with a piece of the bag sticking out. Place the cap over it and screw it on. Cut off the excess piece of plastic and you're done. 
This container of M&M's Minis never lets me down. Let me show you how you guys can use it to pass it off as a school supply. I just removed the M&M's that were inside and I'm also gonna peel off the label completely because obviously it would give it away as soon as our teachers see it. It just has to look as plain as possible. You'll need a bunch of pens for this. Well not the actual pens but the caps so get as many that will fit inside. The best way to keep them together is with tape of course. We want them to look like a stack of pens. This came out super perfect. It's quite snug when I put it inside the container. So inside we're gonna fill it back up with the M&M's Minis but you guys can choose any other type of candy that you guys wanna put in there. The pen caps will cover our tracks and it'll look as though the M&M's Minis container is just a pen holder and it's filled with pens. To help your cause apply a piece of tape and on it write the word pens. The purpose for this is to make it look less suspicious and more like a school supply. If you want to sneak a lot of chips into class, get yourself a large poster board like this one right here and roll it up. Apply a few rubber bands on it to keep it rolled up. These are the chips that we'll be sneaking in, Takis and Hot Cheetos Extra. For this, you will also need some tissue paper. Basically just take some and roll it up into a ball. It should be pretty snug when you guys push it inside the poster. I'm using a marker to push it in to make as much room as possible for my Takis and my Hot Cheetos Extra. And yes, I do like mixing them up. Once you have plenty of chips in there, just cover them up with another ball of tissue paper. Keep it handy next to your desk and you can reach in when you start craving those chips. For this last hack, you will need a stack of CDs you no longer need. The thickness is up to you, but of course, the larger it is, the more candy you'll be able to sneak into class. Pretty much what we're gonna do is remove a piece from the center of each CD except for two. For example here, I cut out a large square from the center. All I'm gonna do is stack them up, but make sure that the squares are aligned. Some clear tape will keep them together. It's very crucial that you guys place tape on the inside and pretty much try to cover the inner edges with tape as we don't want the cut up CDs touching our candy. As for the two CDs that we left untouched, we are gonna cover the center holes with tape. One will go on the bottom and that you guys can tape on or glue on. The other CD will go on top and we are gonna place a sticky note on it that says music. To hold the CD in place, all we need is one strip of clear tape. That way we can easily open it and close it. Inside, we are gonna fill with our favorite candy. For this example, I'm gonna go with some sour Skittles. At this point, you are done. Just keep the stack of CDs on your desk and lift the top CD when you guys wanna get some candy. This never fails. There you guys have it, 20 different creative ways to eat your favorite snacks and candy while in class. For more similar videos like this one, please subscribe to this channel with all the notifications turned on. Again, another reminder, if you guys want to participate in my new giveaway, all you have to do is leave a like and a cool comment on this video. The winner will get a box full of treats, so don't wait, enter now. Thanks for stopping by Pranksters, I really appreciate all the support, I will see you guys in my next video.